Namaste. Welcome to your practice. In today's class, we'll go through our full body, feeling grounded and centered, gentle flow. We'll targeting our full body, but mainly a little more paying attention to upper body tension release. Make your way all the way down to your mat. Give your full body gentle stretch, arms up over your head, legs straight down. Waking up to your fingers and your toes. Starting with mini savasana. Your choice, legs straight down, or you can bend your knees. Pressing your feet, mat distance, knees and inner thighs touch. Close your eyes, take a full breath in. Cleansing breath out. Begin to bring awareness into your body and your breath. Blink your eyes open, wiggling your fingers, extending arms up over your head, legs together touch, ankles, inner thighs touch, point your feet and flex few rounds. Give your full body gentle awakening stretch, arms out back to T-shape, bend your knees, Open your legs about mat distance and gentle twist side to side. Let us roll over to your right side. Slowly make your way to table with your toes tucking under. Lower belly drawn in and walking your palms all the way up to your thighs, sitting softly on top of your heels. You may stay still if you are feeling good with your toes, gently rocking forward and back. And releasing your palms down to the mat, table, go through a few rounds, cats and cows. Inhale, starting with cow position. So feel your belly stretch, chest and the front of your neck. Exhale, rounding from the tailbone one vertebra at a time. Feel the back of your neck fully stretch. As you go through cow, feeling your forearm stretch by turning your fingers toward to the outer side. Exhale to cat. If you have a little more space, you can fingers turning all the way toward to your knees for a cow. Exhale to cat. Come back to neutral with fingers facing forward. We're going to take one more variation with cats and cows by crossing your arms and feel your cow position from here. And then cat push the ground. Coming back to neutral, let's switch. Cross your left hand over your right hand and make your way to cow or cat that makes feel good around your shoulders, shoulder blades and your neck. Beautiful. And let's make our way to downward facing dog. Fingers wide open. Push the ground with your palms. Feeling your full body gently stretching. Keep a soften through your knees if that feels better on your lower back. As you feel decompression through your spine, shake your head big yes. Big yes for this moment. Why would you say big no, no? Shake your head, no, no, no. And let's shake our head, big yes. Beautiful, stay still. Breathe in. 
Cleansing breath out. Releasing your knees down, big toes together, touch. Make your way to child pose. Breathe in. As you breathe out, walking both hands with your torso toward the right side. Relaxing both shoulders and breathe into your left ribs. Walking back to the center, big breath in. And let's walk toward the left side. Breathe into your right side of your body. Walk your both hands back to the center. Deep child pose. Let's take a couple of moving cats and cows. Inhale, waving your spine forward. Exhale, send your hips back to your heels. Once more. Now as you're shifting forward, back to table. Chaturanga, Tandasana, all the way to your belly. Let's take three cobras with your fingertips walking a little forward, lifting up your chest, gazing forward. Exhale, lower down. Take two more cobras. Beautiful. Bring your palms by your ribs. Use your core to pressing up and make your way back to child pose. Come forward to table to position and draw your lower belly deeply in. Extending right leg straight back, big breath in. Exhale, knee to your chest, step the right foot all the way forward. Let's spin your back foot toward the side angle and bring your right forearm on top of your thigh. Let's practicing breathing hand gesture. Prana mudra. Extending left hand goes up and bring it slowly close by your face. Gently push your left ribs toward the sky. Keep on breathing. On your next inhalation, slowly bring yourself up, arms out to T-shape. Exhale, lower the bottom hand down, extending deep into side body stretch. Lifting up, big breath in. Working on shoulder mobility. Exhale, lower the upper hand down, circling. One. Inhale, circle up. Exhale, two. One last biggest circle. As you lower the upper hand down, rebend your front knee deeply and walking both hands toward to the front of your mat. Spin your back foot toward to the center, lifting up your chest, gazing forward. Inhale, exhale, send your hips back, half split. Let's repeat once more. Inhale, rebend. Exhale, feel your leg flexibility. Walking your fingers in line with your shoulders, flat back and keep flexing your right foot. Gently rocking your hips side to side, elongating your spine as you're feeling your leg flexibility. Now let's rebend the front knee, spin your right hand to the inside of your thigh so you can heel toe, open your right hip toward to the side. Lower your hips, belly, chest all the way down to half frog. From here, bend your left knee deeply, extending left hand to catch your foot. Feeling gently through your quadriceps stretch. Right hand bring it close by your face. Keep on extending straight forward. Don't forget to breathe. Carefully releasing your left foot down, extending both hands straight forward, legs straight back, gently rocking your hips side to side. Palms by your ribs, tuck your toes, 
reverse plank, and make your way back to downward facing dog. Inhale, come forward to plank position. Exhale, Chaturanga Tandasana. You may take cobra or take upper facing dog. Exhale, knees down, hips back to your heels, child pose. Walking your hands all the way up to your thighs. Take gentle head roll one direction. And roll it out to the other direction. Circle the arms up over your head. Exhale, lower the palms down back to table and moving on to the left side. Left leg extending straight back. Knee to your chest, step it all the way forward. Spin your right foot toward to the side angle and bring your left forearm on top of your thigh. Turning your full body toward to the side and extending right and comes close by your face. Pull your both shoulders away from the ears and keep on extending as you breathe. Be one with your breath. On your next inhalation, slowly bring yourself back to the center, arms out to T-shape. Exhale, lower the right hand down to the mat, left hand close by your face. Pressing your left foot down toward to the mat. Feel longer and longer each exhalation. Working on your shoulder mobility. Inhale, creating space. Exhale, circling your upper hand down. Few rounds. Now as you lower your upper hand down toward to the mat, let's re-bend your front knee, walking both hands toward to the front of your mat. Turning your back foot to the center, push your belly, chest gazing forward. Inhale, exhale, half split. Once more, inhale, bend your front knee, gazing forward. Exhale, send your hips back. Walk your fingers in line with your shoulders. Come to flat back with your left foot flexing deeply. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's re-bend your front knee. Bring your left hand toward to the inside of your foot. So again, you can heel toe, walk toward to the side, lower your hips, lower your torso, arms out to T-shape and forehead down. Settle deep into your left side, half frog. And now let's bend your right knee, spin your right hand to catch your foot, gentle quadricep stretch, left hand extending straight forward. Carefully releasing your foot down, extending both legs straight back, arms straight up, and gently rocking your hips side to side. Palms by your ribs, use your muscles lifting up, back to child pose. Before we get all the way down to the mat, we'll take a few more rounds, cats and cows. Inhale, rounding your spine forward to table. Exhale, Back to child pose. Come back to your breath, linking with your movements. Now as you come forward to table, let's lower all the way down to your belly. Turn your body onto the back. We'll continue a little more flow from here. Legs straight down, arms up over your head. Lots of space into your lower back and hips. Exhale, pull your right knee close to your chest. Hold onto your shin 
or back of your knee. Move your ankle a few rounds. Let's take a gentle spinal twist, right and down to T-shape, big breath in. Exhale, twist toward to the left side. Your knee doesn't need to touch the ground. Relax your shoulders, soften through your face. Carefully come back to the center. Both legs straight down, arms up over your head. Lengthen long through your side body, inviting more space into your lower back and hips. Exhale, pull your left knee close to your chest, wind releasing pose. Circle through your ankle. Let's breathe in deeply. Exhale, spinal twist. So left hand down to T-shape, carefully twist toward to the right side. You can look over to your left shoulder or gazing up toward to the sky. And slowly undo yourself, legs straight down, arms up over your head. Pull your knees close to your chest, hold on to the tops of your knees and gently rocking your legs side to side and circling through your hips. You feel around your tailbone and sacrum, gently pressing against the floor. This is a beautiful massage to tapping into your parasympathetic system. Makes you feel grounded and centered and much calmer. Hold onto the back of your knees and let's adding gentle rock and roll. Exhale, come up, inhale back, massaging through your entire spine, helping with your core strength too. And as you're rocking up, legs straight forward, arms up over your head, flexing your feet, ankles together, touch. Exhale, arms down by your side, Tandasana. Chin slide, tuck down, gazing at your toes. Beautiful. Let's come to Sukhasana. Take a moment to settle deep into this present moment. Notice how you feel. Right and down to your belly, left and on top of your chest. Inhale, feel your belly rise, ribs and chest rise. Exhale, slowly control your breath, empty all the air out. Once more, three parts breath, inhale. And exhale. Circle the arms up over your head with positive energy. Palms down to your forehead, lips, and down to your heart. Feeling gratitude into your heart center. Finish with OM. Inhale. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.